In this episode of the Data Career Podcast, I'm gonna walk you through the best five books to get when you're just starting out in the data visualization world. I'll tell you what those books are, why you should read them, and where you can get them. This is the Data Career Podcast, episode 52. Welcome to the Data Career Podcast, the podcast that helps aspiring data professionals land their next data job. Here's your host, Avery Smith. If you want to learn data visualization, here are the best five books that you should read. I'll have the titles and links to each of these in the description down below. Number one is Storytelling with Data. Now, Storytelling with Data by Cole Naflick should be your first read in the data visualization world. It is a complete beginner's guide to data visualization for all business professionals. The author, Cole Naflick, who I've talked to before, she is awesome. She taught data visualization at Google, just like a little company, right? And now she has her own consulting practices where she teaches dozens of companies data visualization best practices. She actually came and spoke at ExxonMobil when I worked there as well, and it was really good. She knows her stuff. So in this book, you'll get a complete introduction to how to make beautiful data visualizations. And one thing that's really nice about the book is it's tool agnostic, meaning that you can take what you learn and apply it to any software that you want. She's not going to teach you Excel. She's not going to teach you Power BI. She's not going to teach you Tableau. But the stuff that she teaches you will be applicable to all of those different softwares, which is absolutely amazing. And I really prefer that. She'll walk you through complete visualization makeover step-by-step, step, like here's a bad data viz and here we are turning into a good data viz and why the techniques that she's teaching are really effective. It's an amazing book and you definitely want to check it out. All right, number two is the big book of dashboards. Now this book is awesome for anyone who wants to improve their dashboard design. The authors, Steve Wexler, Jeffrey Schaefer, and Andy Cockrave are data visualization experts and they'll teach you everything you need to know about building an efficient dashboard. I really like this book because they have good theory at the beginning about how to build dashboards, what a dashboard is and why it's important. But then they dive straight into 28 practical examples spanning all sorts of different industries. All three authors will give their thoughts on the dashboard and walk through the different thoughts that they have on why this dashboard does well with this or why it doesn't do well with that or what they would change. And they even give you access to some of the real Tableau files that they use to make these dashboards that you could actually use yourself as a template for your next dashboard. So if you've already read Storytelling with Data, it's time to move on to the big book of dashboards and this book should be your next purchase. Number three is Envisioning Information. This book is by the godfather of data visualization, Edward Tufte. And Tufte is seen as the leader, the guy in the data visualization space. He's been around a long time and he's written five books on the subject. I think that kind of makes you an expert. Tuning Information is my favorite book, although I've read all four, I guess not the fifth, of his books and they're all amazing. At this point in this discussion, we're no longer at an elementary data visualization book level because this book is a little bit more detailed and a little bit more advanced, but I really love it because in this book, he teaches really cool concepts that not a lot of people talk about, like what's the difference between macro and micro readings? What are small multiples and how to use them? He goes very deep into color and how to use it professionally. And also he covers how to visualize space and time, which is like an amazing part of the book and you don't wanna miss it. The contents of this book are absolutely amazing, but it's also a really beautiful book. Like it just looks amazing on the inside. It's very clear he spent a lot of time designing the layout of the book, just like you should spend a lot of time designing the layout of your different data visualizations. Each page in this book has room for notes, which I absolutely love and I took a lot while reading it. Number four is how charts lie. How Charts Lie by Alberto Cairo is a great book for any data visualization beginner. It's one of the first ones I read when I was starting my journey. It covers how most people, or a lot of people, or some people, mainly the media, will use charts to illustrate a message that isn't entirely true. He talks about a couple different examples from both sides of the alley. He shows some CNN graphs. He shows some Fox graphs. He shows some graphs that Trump used. It's really interesting. And he gives these real world examples from these organizations and it's amazingly compelling. And he'll walk you through step by step why these graphs are misleading and how he would fix these graphs to make them more truthful. It's just a masterclass on all things data visualization because it also exposed me to a lot of different chart types, which was really fun. Help me know when to use them and how to use them effectively. So I highly recommend it. It's also a pretty quick read too. It's not too thick and it's pretty fun to read. Number five is show me the numbers. 
Show me the numbers is thick. I mean, just look at this thing. It is chock full of all sorts of amazing data visualization tips. It's by Stephen Few, another really big expert in the field. I really enjoyed this book because it spends an inordinate amount of time talking about designing tables. Yes, designing tables, like rows and columns, like a basic table. He explains it for chapters on chapters in this book. And it's so detailed. It's not actually really talked about that often, but tables are really the most common form of data visualization. So it's important to know the best practices when you're actually building them so you can make these tables look really good and be very helpful for your user. So I actually used this book a ton in a recent consulting job I had with a Fortune 500 company. And this company was really struggling to get users to read and gain value out of this big report, this like multi-page report. And it was mostly tables and their tables were ugly. So by the principles I learned in this book, we implemented 18 core table principles and built out a new table design for their software that hopefully is leading to a lot more user engagement. He also covers graphs, color use, and best color principles. Honestly, this feels like a textbook. It's very detailed. It is a little bit more on the intermediate to advanced side, but still a great book and would teach you a lot of the basics. So there you have it, the five best books for data visualization beginners. I'll have all the links in the description down below so you can check them out. I hope you enjoyed that episode. And if you did, I'm going to have an awesome free masterclass that I know you're going to love. We're going to talk about a lot of things this episode talked about. You can get it absolutely for free at datacareerjumpstart.com slash training or using the link in the show notes down below. Hope to see you there.